gonna take him a while. He's only got three keys. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to day three of Happy Holidays. Today is kind of a fun haul. At least I'm very excited for it. I am going into my own personal handbag collection and I am purging. I did a haul a while back um, on handbags that I own. Some I decided to sell, some I've already sold, but I'm doing another round of it because um, I am interested in getting a luxury bag. Right now, I am between a Chanel bag, a Louis Vuitton, and an Yves Saint Laurent. I will show you the ones I'm thinking about later in today's video, but right now, we are going to go through my trunk. Uh, I have my grandmother's old hope chest that I painted and I have a ton of handbags in there. So we're just gonna go through. I am going to share with you the ones that I'm going to sell. I'm sure there'll be a few in there that I decide to keep. And I'm hoping that when I sell all of these bags that I haven't been using, I will be able to purchase a luxury bag that has been on my mind for some time. So let's see how that all goes. Of course, I need to shower and I really need to hustle today because I am heading out to meet a friend at the bins, which will be tomorrow's video or potentially the day after that. So let's get this day started. Uh, thanks so much for joining me on Happy Holidays. If you are enjoying my series, please hit the like button and think about subscribing to my channel and let's get going. It is such a mess back here, but this is where my handbags are kept. This is my closet. Um, it used to be unfinished. This is where Santa would store a lot of his gifts. It's now such a mess, but we transformed it. I stained all of these uh, pine panels here. My cousin finished it. This was an old dresser that I think was at my mom's house and she gave to me. We painted that. I got this light fixture at a yard sale and chalk painted it with yellow. That cost $5. Lula Marie. These little rugs I got at one of my favorite stores. Um, it had been a display and these went on sale. I grabbed those. This is a very like handmade area. This back here is where I keep all my super valuable dolls and it used to be a little reading nook for Angelina. If you can see when I built my closet she asked my cousins if they could make a spot for her to read. So there's a little carpet in there and she would come in here with like a bean bag and read. Now it's just junk clutter. So here's the trunk that used to be my grandmother's. I used, I went through this Annie Sloan phase where I painted everything with Annie Sloan. So this used to just be a, you know, regular wood cedar chest, but because it was in this closet, I wanted all the furniture back here to be in white. So I painted it and right where Lulu is, the back leg broke off. So it's a little wonky right now, but this is where I keep all of my handbags. So we are going to be going through these and one by one, I'm going to decide what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of and so on and so forth. This right here is a Burberry bag that I'm definitely going to keep. I don't wear it that often. I don't know why it's out. I think I wore it recently. Over here, I have my Louis Vuitton pieces. Uh, I'm definitely keeping those, but I'll talk a little bit about those. But for now, we gotta clean out this trunk. It's gonna be not easy, so let's get to it. Okay. I am all over the place because I am in a new filming spot in from my bedroom and it's really throwing me off. Not to mention that Jay does all of his work up here in our bedroom and I've pretty much been ban banished from my room during the day um, while he's working and on conference calls, but he was so sweet. He just went downstairs and did his call, but he does have a live one at 9 a.m. So I have to hustle. I have had my eye on a few bags, a few luxury handbags for a while, and I just can't justify the cost. One is the Chanel Classic Caviar Flap Medium Bag. I've been binge watching British YouTubers talking about luxury handbags in my downtime, and I'm kind of intrigued by the Chanel, right? It's like the classic purse, but in recent years, the prices have gone through the roof for this bag, and I just don't know if it's really my style. I'm a little bit more casual, but it keeps going up in value. If I do purchase it, I will purchase it pre-loved and use it for a while and then likely sell it. But is that what I really wanna do? I kinda wanna purchase a bag that I'm gonna love for a very long time. Louis Vuitton has always been my first love, 
But in recent years, I haven't been quite as excited about anything from Louis Vuitton. One of the big purchases I made from Louis Vuitton a while back was this delightful bag, which I don't think they make anymore. And I have worn this into the ground. And I typically really like large bags. And this really fits the bill. It's like perfectly slouchy. And if you're looking at this and you're a Louis Vuitton person and you're like, they never made that bag with the black strap, you might be right. I had this custom dyed after several years of wear. I had a lot of watermarks on the strap after years of wear, and I loved this bag so much. Um, I decided to send it off, and I had all the leather trim uh, painted. And it's not perfect, but I found a girl who did restoration of Louis Vuitton bags online. I also asked my local Louis Vuitton associate, sales associate, she also recommended this woman. When I worked at American Girl, we had a Louis Vuitton store at the Natick Collection, so I, that's where I would purchase um, my pieces. So my pieces, and by pieces I mean this one single bag. And um, she recommended this woman. So she restored this bag, and this is very Lori friendly now because anything that has a black accent, I love. It's very much beat up. Some of the leather is starting to, you know, not look so great, but still my favorite Louis bag. A few years after that bag, this is so funny, I haven't used this in a while, I got this, I think it's meant to be like a toiletry case. I bought this on Tradesy and I only paid $90 for it. And the reason I paid $90 for this is because the inside here, where it's now like exposed suede, was really gummy. The canvas over time was super sticky, like disgusting black stickiness in here. I had been down the Louis Vuitton restoration rabbit hole for some time when I purchased this, and I think it was just peroxide or alcohol. If you take a Q-tip and you just go along the lining, it removes all that stickiness, and then you just have the exposed suede. So this was a bargain for $90, but now, you can see the water damage on here too, which is what happened to my other bag. So I'd love to have this restored and the edges painted black, but I just haven't been that motivated. But I'm gonna go through my handbag collection. I'm going to show you what I will keep, what I will sell, and then at the end, I'm going to give the specifics. I, I mentioned the Chanel bag, but I'm gonna talk about the other bags that I'm deciding on in the end. I want you guys to tell me what you think I should get. And if anybody's interested in any of the bags that I'm showing today, definitely message me at lauriesbostonfound at gmail.com. Since this week I'm vlogging and having happy holidays and my vlogmas, whatever you wanna call it, um, I'm not getting a lot of listing done. So a lot of my sales through this week's hauls will be through direct sales. So definitely message me and um, we can work out a price. I don't really have an idea for the price on these bags. I'm just going to be showing them to you. And then we'll take a vote at the end and tell me which bag you think I should get. And I'm hoping that, you know, probably by early new year, all of these will be listed. Enough of them might be sold so that I can take the plunge and buy one of those fun luxury bags and just recycle, clear up space in my house and just go for quality over quantity. I know this was the world's longest introduction, but if this sounds like fun to you, give this video a like. Think of subscribing to my channel every day this week for Happy Holidays, December 7th through 13th. I'll be here giving you a different haul. After I do this haul. I'm literally jumping in my car and driving to the bins. We'll go from luxury handbags to digging through people's trash at the Goodwill outlet. So stay tuned. I showed you the pile of bags piling up this morning when I threw them on my bed. And to be honest, these bags have never in total been taken out of that cedar chest. So I'm going to be going through these. Some of these bags I haven't even touched in two years, which is another reason to just let them go. Some of the bags you'll see are Coach because back in the day, Coach was what really excited me. This is a Coach tote and um, it's really nice. I remember being so excited when I bought this. And this is the, the type of Coach bag that I love. It's that super soft leather. I love this color. It's especially nice for the holidays. The truth of the matter is if I'm going to grab a large bag, it's going to be my Louis Vuitton Delightful. I can just throw things in there or it's going to be lightweight 
or it's going to be a crossbody. And this doesn't really fit into any of those categories, but it's beautiful. This would actually make a fantastic diaper bag. It has pockets on each side. It's beautiful. Maybe it was a diaper bag. It probably was. If you look inside here, it's got brown liner and it's divided. The one flaw with this bag is that it has an, a little oil stain right here. Some of the edges are a little bit worn. I haven't looked at these things in a while. So I think given those, it would probably end up selling for about 40 or 50. I don't know, what do you think? That's one bag. This bag, see, this is the thing. A lot of these bring back memories. Um, that I will definitely get rid of. This, I think I might keep. This is a brand that I had no knowledge of, but I bought it. One day Jay had to, um, went to a client's in New Hampshire, and this is like way back when my kids were super little. And I walked through this downtown in New Hampshire, and I couldn't even tell you the name of that town, but they had all these little boutiques. We really didn't have much money. Or Yanni. I found this bag. The brand meant absolutely nothing to me at the time. I believe this is a Japanese designer. And I grabbed this bag. I'm keeping this bag. This is stunning. It does have the crossbody. It is a black neutral bag. It does have different options. And the texture on this is just so gorgeous. I love the style of this. This I'm keeping. So that's going in the keep pile. It's funny the stuff that I feel super attached to. I would have kept that even if I wasn't super attached to it. This is a Kate Spade bag, which is really nice. This is a beautiful cognac leather Kate Spade. I feel like this is untypical Kate, which I actually like because I'm not a super preppy girl. This is a very classic leather handbag. I think this may be a keep. I'm pretty certain that my mother-in-law bought me this. I was very spoiled by Jay's mom. For years, she bought me beautiful handbags and Tiffany's jewelry. Um, every year, she spoils me. She continues to do so, and I keep telling her she needs to stop, but she still spoils me. Okay, this I just bought in Italy. This is not going anywhere. This is a Gucci bag. It's just the little Gucci G's red crossbody. I just bought this in Italy last year. Um, I know I've showcased this bag before. Perfect little crossbody. This is similar to what I'm looking at now, but I'm looking at black and a little bit larger. I love this Gucci bag. I got this at the outlet in Italy, and I do have a video on my haul in Italy, which is such bad quality. I love that I have wallets that I haven't looked at in years, and they, they have my Super Savers Club. Jay bought this for me in Japan, and it's actually beautiful. I can't even read the brand on it. I wore it for a little while, but it's very small. My current wallet is wide. It's a men's travel wallet from Louis Vuitton that I bought in New York City, and that's what I use. This is just too small for me. It has these beautiful little embellishments. It's really such a pretty bag. Samantha something? I wish I could read it. Anyway, very pretty. That I will be selling. I have no idea what the value is on that. This is a fun bag from Lululemon. I just recently did a Lululemon haul of my own personal things and I sold a bunch of items. This I am probably going to keep. It has the rose gold um, hardware, really cute, beautiful wine, plum color. Should I ever work out again or leave my house again to work out, this will be the perfect bag. So this is a keeper. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love the style of that. This is not going as I planned. I thought I was going to sell a lot more. This is just a very basic, unbranded, black leather crossbody bag. Very classic, um, pretty lightweight, and yeah, this I will sell. This will probably be $25 because there is no brand on it. There used to be a snap-in liner to it. That's gone, but I'm gonna sell that. What are you right here? Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, this is a Lucky Brand bag. I forgot I had half of these bags. That's really embarrassing. Okay, this bag is amazing. Um, very boho. It has all these like fun straps that have been in a bag and they need to be trained. This is like brand new. I remember when I got this bag, I was so excited for it. And then I never wore it much. This is awful that I have all these bags. The liner has Lucky Brand. It does have the crossbody. I'm slightly tempted on this one, but I think I'm gonna let it go just because it's in beautiful condition and it will be an easy one to list. And I think it has a lot of vibes that people are looking for current day. So I will sell this. I feel like as I'm looking towards the future, I'm trying to look at more classic bags that are lightweight, 
uh, smaller profile because most of the time that I'm out, I am thrifting and I don't like to have big bulky bags attached to me. So I'm going to sell that one. Um, this will probably list between 75 and 100. This is a nice bag. This is a coach bag that I'm keeping. <laughs> All right, but wait a sec. This is where I have to be smart. So I have this coach bag and I have this Kate Spade bag. So I think Kate Spade just got bumped because I freaking love this coach bag and I think I'm going to take this out and start using it immediately. Selling the Kate Spade if you're interested. Okay, so this is part of the Legacy collection, I believe, and this this is the coach that I fell in love with. This little turnkey right here, it has that liner, that classic liner that is so beautiful. Um, and this is in beautiful condition. I'm quite certain my mother-in-law also bought this for me. Um, if I had to decide between those two, this is just more of a classic piece to me. This is what I love about Coach, and Coach is having a moment. Every blogger that I watch, every YouTuber who's talking about bags, Coach is making a little bit of a comeback with this style, this like heavy quality leather. This is gorgeous. I wish you could hold it in your hands, but if you know this, you know it. So that's a keeper. Goodbye to my Kate Spade. All right, moving right along. What is this? Oh, this is the box. Samantha Thavasa? Samantha Thavasa. That is the um, Japanese brand. Every time I go close with this lighting, everything just gets washed out. So I'm sorry there's no close-ups. So this will actually come with a little box. Perfect. Another coach bag. I already know what this is. This is probably from 2000, 2001. You can wear it as a crossbody, but it comes up kind of high. I remember for years I felt like I wanted this like much lower, like hanging off my hip. And I never thought that this strap was long enough for a crossbody. Um, and I've changed my mind on that. I like that it's a little bit closer to my body and up higher. I don't have the heart to let go of this bag because I just think it's really beautiful. But I will say... I'm not really great with bags that are hugely deep, and this is a really deep bucket bag. Um, so I guess this is gonna be a maybe. I thought for years I would never sell this. Because it's sentimental, it was probably, I think my mother-in-law bought it for me right from the coach store before there were any outlets, and also just at a time where it really meant a lot to me. So I don't know if I can part with this, and I don't have many suede bags. This is gonna be a maybe. What do you think? Would you let it go? Is it that? timeless. I like brown too, but okay. What are you? This is a Stella and Dot bag that is really cute. Just a lightweight tote. Um, I think I got this. M one of my good friends who I used to work for, her name is Jenna. She is a Stella and Dot rep. If you ever need anybody, let me know because Jenna is fantastic. And I think I must have gotten this with points from one of the parties I had but I've never really reached for it. So I think I will sell that. Louis Vuitton dust bags. I do have a lot of dust bags, but I'm not selling. Oh, Burberry. I showed my Burberry bag earlier, but let me just show it in a little bit of detail. I love that it's just like a heavy, I keep looking over here, I'm sorry. It's a pebbled leather, absolutely beautiful. And then you can snap the sides over here. So what happened with this bag? Jay and I used to go away for his holiday party every year in Boston, and we'd stay at like Copley Plaza, at the Westin, or wherever, wherever his party was. And we started this thing where I would go get a little something from the Burberry store, if it was the right year, if you know we had anything extra. And I saw this bag at the Burberry store and I fell in love with it. It was just ridiculous. It was like $1,600, $1,700. And we just didn't have that budget. I had loved it for a very long time. And a few months later, I ended up not getting anything or maybe I got a scarf. I have a couple of Burberry scarves, so that's probably what I got that day. I was at the Burberry outlet in Rentham for anybody who is local here, and they had this bag, and that is where I picked it up for seven, eight hundred dollars. It was literally half the price, and it was just one of those moments where, very rare that you see something in the real store that you absolutely love that then ends up in the outlet. I love this because it doesn't scream Burberry, but it mentions Burberry. <laughs> Um, it's not like so in your face because I like a little bit of subtlety, but little peep here And I like that you can pop it open if you want it a little bit bigger. This is beautiful condition That's definitely a keeper. This is a coach bag 
no attachment to this. This is probably those mid 2000s brands that I wasn't crazy about, but the color is really beautiful. This color is beautiful. It's a nice medium sized bag. So this would be a nice little bonus to anybody's collection who loves coach. It is that leather. It has that contrasting stitching that I'm gonna sell. This is the saddest thing ever. I bought this Louis Vuitton Speedy off of Craigslist. I met some shady woman in downtown Boston and against my better judgment, I bought it and it was a fake. It is such a good fake. I brought it to Louis Vuitton and they looked at it and they're like, I'm sorry, it's fake. I paid $400 for this bag. I mean, and if I could show you, if you could see up close some of the detail on this hardware, this is a really, really well done fake. Everything is good. It's got the little lock. I am just so sad because at the time I paid $400 for this. I think in the back of my head, I knew it was too good to be true. And I just wanted it to be real and it looked real. And the woman who met me, there were a lot of signs afterwards that made me realize it was probably a fake, but it's probably the best fake I've ever seen. I could actually wear it and get away with it. If this wasn't a vlog and I wasn't producing a video every single day, I would do a lot more close-ups on this to show you. The liner was a little off for me. And if you're a Louis Vuitton person, you'll probably be picking up on maybe some other details I'm missing. But anyways, this Speedy, it's a really incredible knockoff. Um, I paid $400. I wore it probably just to the Louis Vuitton store to tell them, to have them tell me that it wasn't real but it's an amazing, amazing knockoff. It just brings back sad memories for me. And I like a strap. And at the time, I just thought the Speedy was just a classic design. I don't know what to do with this thing. Message me if you're interested. This is a Kate Spade bag that CMD bought me. That's my mother-in-law. It's adorable. It's patent leather. This is like a great book bag, I think. If you're going to a coffee shop, the liner is beautiful. It has little polka dots super cute this i am going to sell one it's a little uncomfortable under my shoulder it's that really deep deep i'm more of a wide shorter bag type of person this is great i didn't wear this much and i think i don't know if sandy bought this pre-owned it's like brand new though it's adorable so that i will sell this is a long chomp i'll probably keep this somebody told me that you could send your long chomp out to be um serviced the corners because my corners are starting to pop through, which is very typical of this bag. Um, but what I love about it is that it's just super lightweight. The resale value isn't incredible on this, but it's super lightweight. I love it for travel. If I'm hopping on an airplane and I want like a light bag to kind of fill up with stuff that's not gonna weigh me down, I like traveling with that bag. So I will hold on to that one. The more I look at that suede bag, the more I'm thinking I might sell it. What are you, what are you? Oh, this is just a basic crossbody black leather bag. Some lipstick in here. This I'm gonna sell. This I actually used to take with me to the bins. It's really nice, high quality leather. I don't see a brand on it. It looks unbranded. If I see the brand, I'll list it, but this will probably be like $30. So many bags. What are you? Okay, this is a Tory Burch tote bag. I actually bought two of these one year. I bought the one in tan and I loved it so much that I bought it in black. And then I didn't love the black one as much and I hadn't used it. So I exchanged it for credit at Bloomingdale's. It was like $450. I had that credit for almost two years or however long before it was going to expire. And then when I went to New York City, I used that credit at the Bloomingdale's in New York to put towards the Louis Vuitton wallet that I bought out there like two years later. I'm always wheeling and dealing for these luxury things. I can never just buy them outright. This is a really pretty camel colored tote. I like this. I don't have many bags that are this light. So I think this is a key. I'm about 50-50 right now. I think I'm 50-50. Okay, this is my high class storage for my bags. What are you? Okay, this is gorgeous. Again, from my mother-in-law. She got me this Cole Haan backpack. This she got for me at Foxwoods Casinos when she had a bunch of credit, you know, from playing the slots. She would occasionally just spoil us and go into a store and buy a bag. This could not be any more classic. It is heavy, beautiful, 
The retail value on this was insane when she bought it for me and I was like just in awe of this bag and loved it, but I don't carry a backpack. I just don't carry a backpack. This couldn't be more classic or beautiful. I am gonna sell this and I'm gonna miss it, but I just don't wear a backpack, so that's gonna go, and it's super heavy. I have a Gucci wallet somewhere in here. I might have given it to my mom. I bought it with my first bonus from American Girl. Oh, this definitely goes into the red leather coach diaper bag. That definitely was a diaper bag. And this is the changing pad that goes inside. Okay, my youngest is 16 years old. I think it's time to let go of the diaper bag. This is a Gucci that I bought secondhand. That is really nice. Some of these, if you've watched my videos, you definitely saw it in previous videos. This I really love. This is like a burnt orange trim. I think I paid, I don't know. I don't know, four, three, four hundred dollars for this second hand. I met a woman at a mall. We sat, we talked for like an hour. She was obsessed with purses and she was basically doing what I'm doing, selling a bunch of stuff because she wanted some big Gucci bag. This was, this is probably 10, 15 years ago. This is beautiful. It's burnt orange. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to sell this because Gucci's pretty hot right now. And this has some beautiful hardware. It has the feet on the bottom. It's in very good condition. And it's just, I don't know. For me, I would rather put my money towards a crossbody Gucci. I love my red Gucci, but I think I just want that like classic bag. But this is good, because this would probably bring me a few hundred dollars. So that's a good one to sell. How much money are we up to, do you think? Okay, I feel like I'm down to dust bags now. These are all dust bags. Like I have three bags that still have something inside of them. Oh, this is, what is this? Oh. Oh, this is a Tory Burch wallet that I'm definitely gonna sell. I thought it might have matched that pebble leather. I used this for a while. Funny enough, I ordered this off of Amazon and I got a fake from Amazon. I got it in the mail and I could not believe that it was a fake, but there was just something off about it. I went to Nordstrom and I compared these side by side and the woman at Nordstrom confirmed that the one I got from Amazon was a fake. So I was really upset and I fought tooth and nail to return that. I had like side by side pictures of this one. But anyways, I did love this. I used this until I got my Louis Vuitton. I don't know that I can ever use another wallet. I have all these beautiful wallets and I just love the width. I think because I'm always jamming receipts in my wallet, it gets really bulky and I just need that like extra little space at the top here. So that's why I love my Louis. This has a little mark on the back um, that I can probably get off. Another little Gucci bag. This is also from Italy and I love this too. This was like a last minute decision. I ended up getting at the Gucci outlet this bag, the red crossbody, and a scarf, and I was so thrilled with everything. I don't know enough about Gucci, but I'm assuming some of the stuff that they made was for their outlet. Like this, for example, has practically no hardware on it, and it's very subtle little Gucci right here. I've mentioned before that I'm kind of a little bit into low key sometimes, but not always. Um, this is just a great bag for a date. I always say that when I bring a clutch out, it really makes me feel like I'm on a date because for years I had to carry these giant bags with, you know, baby wipes and bottles and just so much junk that when I am able to go out at night with friends or with Jay and just carry a clutch, it just reminds me that, I don't know, it just feels special when I'm carrying a clutch. So I love this. And I definitely wanted to get a clutch that was something I would wear all the time. I still have like my little Gucci tags in here and it is a pretty linen liner. I love this bag. And I love that I bought my Gucci bags in Italy. This is a Lululemon, um, what is this? I can't think of the name of this. I think it starts with an F, but it's like a belt bag. My friend Kim bought for me and I love it. I wore this to Harry Potter land in Orlando at Universal Studios and it was the best. I loved, I'm not a big fanny pack girl and at the time these were just, festival bag, I think this is called a festival bag. These were just kind of making a comeback but they, they weren't having a moment yet like they did over like in I would say 2018, 2019 and I still think even right now. So it was a little bit of a uh when I wore this because fanny packs, as we used to call them in the 90s, very much went out and they were they were like, you didn't want to be seen in a fanny pack for several years and now they're back, but super practical. Um, it's a little busy for me, so I think I would sell this. I just don't have 
anything that I would use in its place. I would be forced to use a crossbody, but I'm a big fan of Bagalinis for travel, and I did a post about Bagalinis recently, and a lot of people, most people said they would not buy a Bagalini. I have luck with Bagalini. I think it's been very soft lately because um, nobody's traveling, and I think it's a great travel bag. So I have enough Bagalinis that I would probably use that if I were traveling over that Lululemon. This is actually the liner that goes to that black unbranded crossbody with the exposed suede on the inside. So that will go with that. This is a Lucky Brand bag. It's so pretty. I think I'm going to keep this, unless anybody really wants it, message me if you're really in love with this. If you're really in love with either one of these bags, just message me and I will sell them. Otherwise, I'm not gonna list these. If I'm selling the coach bag that's red, I really wanna have something that's red, so I'll have this and I'll have my Gucci bag. That's all I need for red bags. One big one, one small one. I do love a pop of color sometimes because I wear so much black that it's nice to have a bag that pops. That's also why I'm keeping the Tory Burch pebbled leather tote. I really like that camel color. I don't have a lot in that camel. So this is just very slouchy, um, exposed suede on the inside and very comfort very comfortable strap up here just a fun handbag so i am going to keep this bag as well unless somebody loves it oh here's my gucci wallet i don't know if i want to sell this i remember so vividly taking my money from american girl when i got my first bonus there i'd never gotten a bonus at any job i ever worked at ever and crazy enough, American Girl gave their part-time employees bonuses. And it was based on like the hours you worked and such. I don't know if I can let this go. This is beautiful. I, I think I paid a little over 500. It has the bamboo. It would actually look really nice with this, with the little matching bamboo. It's beautiful. It's like worn a little bit on the sides, but given the age of it, I think, you know, I started American Girl in 2008. I think I think this was probably around 2010 or 11, so this is probably 10 years old. Oh, I have the receipt. It's completely blank now. It's just faded over time. Oh, that's too bad. It looks like I bought it at Neiman Marcus. I thought I bought it at the Gucci store. I love this. I'm not sure. Again, if you love this wallet and you want to make me an offer, um, I would consider letting it go. Otherwise, I might hold on to that. And let's talk about the bags that I want to buy. Hold on. I already mentioned the Chanel bag that I'm considering. I'm going to pop a picture of that up here. Louis Vuitton makes a bag called the Pochette Matisse, which I really love. They make it in an all black leather with the LV. So they make this in the monogram. They make it in what's called the reverse monogram. The monogram is $1,980. I don't think I want the monogram. I have the monogram in my delightful bag and my wallet, so I probably would not get that. They also have a reverse monogram, which is pretty cool. I'll pop a picture of this up here. This Pochette Matisse monogram reverse canvas is $2,050, and it does have some black accents, which is always good for me because I always like a little black. That's a unique bag. Okay, so this is the Pochette Matisse in black leather. This, of course, is the most expensive because it's all leather. It's $2,420. So I don't know if all those bags will give me enough money to purchase this, but I think this would be a really classic choice that I would never get sick of. And I'm looking for timeless right now. I'm 47, I want timeless. I don't want trendy right now. I don't know how excited I am about the Chanel. I feel like I want Chanel just because it's hype. That's it, which is never a good reason to buy something. Okay, the Yves Saint Laurent bag is actually kind of a bargain, and I don't have a, a bargain compared to these other bags. They're camera bag, I'm not even going to attempt to say it. This really has Chanel vibes. I love the little tassel that hangs off of it, really pretty. This is $1,290. Um, one of the fashion bloggers who I watch really loves this brand, and she speaks very highly of the quality of it, and it's just something that I would have never considered before I started watching her. I am considering it now, especially for the price. All right, and then the last one that I'm considering is the Gucci Dionys Black. And this one's really beautiful. It doesn't have the GGs, which, which I'm fine with. And it's a little ornate. It has almost that, like, that horseshoe, almost looks like a serpent. This has a little bit of bling to it. I feel like I wouldn't wear this quite as much because it has a chain 
for a strap. It's not as practical as the other, as like I say, I think the Louis Vuitton is probably the most practical of this whole bunch, followed by the Yves Saint Laurent. And then Chanel and this Gucci one have a little bit more bling. They have the chain strap, which I don't love, but I just think that this bag is beautiful. This bag is $2,690. And I'm not sure if this is worth the money for the amount of time that I will use it. If I spend 2400 on that Louis Vuitton bag, I feel like I'll use it all the time. Uh, this would just be a very special occasion bag, but again, I'm not sure. So those are the four bags that I am thinking about. Feel free to leave your two cents below. I'm curious what everybody thinks, and I will update you soon when all those items are listed. All right, let's go over the bags really quickly. We have this Gucci bag. This is Cole Haan. This is unbranded. What do you think, Lou? Kate Spade, that's pretty. Coach Bag, Stella and Dot. Kate Spade, Lucky Brand, Unbranded. Coach Bag, Lululemon, not sure what I'm doing with that. And then I have the two wallets over there. So that's 14 bags. Let's say if they average $100 each, that will give me $1,400 towards my new bag. Is that enough, Lou? I was hoping for more. I may need to sell something else in order to get closer to my goals. That is it for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed this little trip down handbag memory lane for me. If you are enjoying holidays, give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be back every day with a haul this week for you. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching my Vlogmas series. Come back tomorrow for a new haul. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Love you guys, bye.